Hello, on today's video I will show you how to create the platform that will fall after you stand on it. Uh, we will also create time until fall delay, so it will mean that if for example we put here value like 2 seconds, so we will be able to stand on our platform by 2 seconds and then it will start falling. Yeah, so you can see here, and it started to fall. So if you are going to like today's video, please don't forget to press the like button and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start working. Currently in our scene we have player and movement script attached to our player and two platforms. Yeah. So to create our falling platform we will need a new platform. Let's call it falling platform. Okay. And for that falling platform we need to add box collider to the uh, this is needed because if we want to stand in our on our platform, we have we need uh, to have the collider. This is explained in the first video of this tutorial series, so I put a link somewhere in the description. Okay, so now when we are able to stand on our platform, we need also to add rigid body to the to our platform. This rigid body will allow physics to work with our platform. So it means that uh, if we have dynamic body and gravity scale to 1, if I pre press play now, you will see that our platform will fall down. Okay. To avoid our platform to fall down by itself, we need to change uh, our dynamic body to static. Okay. So now our platform when we press play will not fall down. Okay. Now what we need to do is to be able to activate our body type, to change our body type from static to dynamic. So it means we we'll activate uh, physics uh, to work on our body, uh, on our uh, platform. So let's create new c -sharp script and let's call it falling platform. Okay. Let's attach this script to our our platform okay mm, let's double click let it compile and now we should be able to attach this script wait a second yeah okay so our following platform script is attached to our body Make it smaller. Okay, and what we will need for our platform script is the function. Let's, let's remove those two. Is the function with name full public void full. Okay, and what this function will do is, is to change our game object that get component rigid body 2d that body type we change our body type on our game object component to rigid body 2d uh, body type 2d yeah, it's here rigid body type 2d that dynamic. So, what this function will exactly do? Get component. I forget the parentheses. Okay, what this function will actually do is just, as you can see here, you know, because the script is attached to our filing body, it means if we call game object from the level of that script, it means we refer to this game object. And we are looking for first get component rigid body. So, sorry. so this one's here get component rigid body. We'll find first, first component with the type of rigid body 2D attached to our game object. So it means we'll find this one. And then we'll refer to body type and we'll change its body type to rigid body type dynamic. Okay. So it's done here. 
read body yeah body type and we will call read body type the dynamic we'll change it here yeah i hope it's clear and to avoid any mistakes i like to do some this is more for error protection so we'll check if our rigid body today attached to our component is not null so it means we, we here check if we have attached rigid body to our game object okay and what we want to do next because we can now make this platform to fall but what we want to do next is to be able to detect when play, player jumped on the platform okay so to do that we need to check the collision okay so when our platform we just stand on okay first let's write function private void on trigger enter on trigger and to uh, d so this function when okay let's do it like that we will call four here so this means if any trigger if any triggers enters on the our platform the platform will fall so now if we press play because our player has a trigger attached to it and we jump the platform starts falling okay but we need to modify it a little bit first because if you would like we would like only this platform to fall when our player is jumping on this platform so uh, currently if any object with the collider 2d would uh, enter uh, on our platform or be in collision with our platform it means the trigger will call the function fall so we want to avoid that and to do that just need to write if collision collision yeah so this one that game object that compare tag so we check here if collider the collision which hit the, our collider today so basically here we are checking if uh, the object that is touching our platform have the tag of the name and here we provide the name player okay so now the function fall will be only called when our when the game object with the tag player stands on the platform okay so now we just need to go to our unity okay let's let it do. okay and here on the tag field we need to change to player oh sorry not on the following platform sorry sorry this is untagged and go to our player and change the tag to our player and also if you have some other uh, colliders attached to our player please also change them because this trigger will work on first collider that touches uh, the platform so it would mean that if you don't have uh, on your if you have additional collider for example to ground check as i have in my on my player game object this also need to be changed to tag need to be changed to player otherwise this function will not work okay so now what we have is that when we jump on our platform the platform is instantly falling down but we would like to be able to somehow delay this platform fall so because if i will jump it start to drop right away and i would like to have possibility of delaying it a little bit uh, for because i would like my player to be able to to jump from the platform okay so let's do it the way that we add function okay maybe before we add the function let's 
create public float ta time until fall okay. and we'll use function that is called invoke Th uh, this function will invoke our fall script this one this uh, this fall function here after the ta after some certain time and this will be our time until fall so this one okay so oh, okay the name of the function is to be written like that okay so this function you just calling another functions you have in the in your class after this time okay. so let's go control s let's change on our following platform mm, time for example to one second for you to see how it works and now if i move jump on our platform it stands still for one second and then it starts falling so you just need to adjust this time as you would like you now for example 0 0.2 seconds let's press play so now we yeah we are able to move a little bit on the platform and jump so that's all in today's video and if you would like uh, for me to create more videos like that please put the thumb up and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions something was unclear for you Please write it in a comment, I will explain. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.